The new firmware for the GH5 2.0 was just released. Let's test it out. So I wanted to test a couple of things, but apparently here at the outdoor gym it's getting too cold and too dark to test any image quality related stuff. The testers, the tests that I wanted to do were to test the new codecs that came with the new update. Uh, there's other things like the better autofocus and feathering options and all kind of things, but in this video I just want to test the uh, image quality. But it's too dark here, so I'll do my workout and then let's go and test the quality somewhere else. New day, new light. Uh, I'll shoot some footage and then let's go to the computer and explore what's the difference between these new codecs. It's a new day already and I have to go to Helsinki. I have very little time to do this vlog, so I'm gonna... And now let's check the footage. First, let's see if the new codecs can capture movement better. I have 10 different clips with different settings. First, uh, object a waterfall that is moving and then a panning shot but when I'm looking at these shots I must say that to my unprofessional eye I don't see much of an improvement when it comes to capturing movement oh that rhymes next let's look at detail so here I have a Photoshop file with different layers of uh, frames each from a different uh, video with different settings so on the right I have a raw file and this is our benchmark so this is the best the camera can output and on the left I have Currently I have the 150 megabits, the old codec, and now I'm going to compare it to the 100 megabits. And when it comes to detail, my unprofessional eye, again, I don't see much of, an, much of an improvement between the 150 and the 400 version. But when I'm looking at the 6K version, I see an increase in the detail. Of course, it, there's more resolution, but it seems to resolve into more detail as well. And here you can see if I'm turning off the raw file, you can compare here on the right there is the 6k version and here on the left is the 400 and now the 150 and then the last test here I have here's the same fountain and I have different uh, different frames here as well so I'm gonna really push the shadows and here we can see that the 6k has more shadow shadow noise than the 400 or the 150 but other than that I must say that I think that the 6K seems to have much better color than the old uh, 150 and the new 400 megabits per second codex. And the same seems to work even in the standard profile, that the 6K has much better color. And you can see it here in the brick wall as well, that the 6K version seems to have more vibrant and more vivid color than the old codex. So it seems that the new 6K codec is actually really good at giving you better color and better detail, but with the expense of having a bit more noise in the shadows. And back home again. So it seems that when it comes to image quality, the 6K is an improvement. The others, or the 400 megabits per second, I think for my eye it just looks a marketing hype. And for the 6K I was thinking of making an episode on how to uh, how to edit, how to kind of use that codec, because you cannot edit in, in Premiere, for example, you have to transcode it and all that kind of stuff. So I'll do an episode on that, hopefully tomorrow, so subscribe, and while you're at it, maybe we can go over the 1000 subscriber mark, and that will really give me a good confidence boost. And there's other functions in the uh, firmware as well, for example, the Hybrid Log Gamma for HDR shooting. I would like to try and get my head around it, uh, kind of wrap my head around it and understand it better, and then I can make an episode about that for you as well. But, uh, yeah, subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye.